Uh, I guess I should start off with a hi. I know it's been a long time since I've posted a video for those who actually watch my videos, but it's about that time another sketchbook tour thingy thing. So uh, this is the one I've done the majority of. I want to say my recent semester through college, although this sketchbook has nothing to do with my college life. It's basically just um, a free verse one, but it's like my two, it's been like my month and a half long sketchbook, I guess. But yeah, I guess we should just get started. So this first one, um, I don't know, it's just like a watercolor practice thing. I really didn't think too hard about it. I just, you know, did some stuff. Um, it was, oh, I gotta adjust. Okay, there we go. That's a lot better. Just go. Drum. In. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, just practicing watercolor. I don't draw black people, so that's kind of what I went with. Um, I know that all of you have probably seen this one. It's um the Nature Baby sketch I did a while back. Um, well, not really a while back. Like maybe about a month ago. I guess it's about a while back. But um, yeah, it, it came out really good. I was kind of surprised at how well it came out. I thought because it was my first time hatching. But nonetheless, it really wasn't something that I was used to doing. So yeah, and, and maybe by micron pencils. So I mean micron pens, micron pencils. Yeah. But the next one, this was one of the first pieces I actually did in this sketchbook. Uh, in the sketchbook, <laughs> um, if it's a staple, it's moved from the back to the front. Um, this is Han Dolo. I was thinking of a Star Wars character, and this is my first time ever like seriously sitting down with watercolor. In using it, so yeah, which is a little bit awkward, but yeah, here it is. Woo, yeah, Hondolo. Let's see. This whole this is the palette I used or worked with, but this is the next one I did. Yeah, um, I just drew a friend that was in the area, and I said, "Don't move." He was like, "Okay." And um, yeah, it was a really nice picture, I guess. Um, I used watercolor mostly and used my Prismacolor pencils uh, ish enough, ish enough a little bit. But yeah, um, I don't know. Watercolor and religious as I am, I drew a man bowing to the cross and it's Matthew 16. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whosoever will... <laughs> <laughs> whoever's whoever that I, I can't read whoever will basically if you give up what you do now and follow what Jesus tells you to do um, you will find yourself so he sober who loses his life for me shall find it you know I'm sorry I can't read I'm really tired uh, it's just a little sketch I did a random little sketch you know Um, let's see what else is in here yeah again if it's a staple it's definitely more recent this is a cartoony sketch i did i was thinking like africa and you know my heritage and whatnot and i couldn't think of anything so i just drew like a cold background over some fronts and stuff and i really didn't know what to do i wanted to make like a jacket thing but it didn't really work out okay this is a mess around with watercolor and whatnot i don't really know what to call it um this is this is just some sketches I did and I never really got around to finishing them but yeah these are some of them you know there's not a lot of explanation to some of these pictures um yeah see like more sketches I was practicing this is really old it probably looked like that but I was practicing and um this one I've shown some of the sketchbook in the other tour but this one I don't remember what I was doing, but I remember just sitting down at my sister's house. We were watching the new edition movie, and I just pulled up a watercolor and just started. Um, all these have names if you go on Instagram and see. And I drew my little guardian angel over me and stuff, you know, in this sketchbook. Watercolor and Prismacolor, which is how I do a lot of my drawings. Um, it's just fun with friends. We just sketched on this page and tic-tac-toe on it this one right here um yeah i love my friend brandon john here and you know some 
other sketches and whatnot. This is one I never actually got around to finishing. I might actually sit down and do this one. Um, but yeah, it was supposed to be like a lady under the sea. And I just forgot all about it. I just never got around to finishing it. Um, but yeah, we'll have to, I'll have to come back to it, I guess. I don't know, I like it kind of. It's just sketching, not thinking, sketching. Figures, practicing and drawing and whatnot. I should post some of my figure drawings now that I think about it. Um, this is a more recent one. But I was at my grandmother's and I was sitting down, I got kind of bored and I was really tired. So I drew how I felt at my grandmother's house. I was just chilling out. And I did, I drew a little small Asian man. It's represent tired. I don't know why that's my representation of tired. But that's kind of what I was going for. And this is something I was drawing some feelings out a while ago, but you know, it's a thing. Hold on. Yeah, just it was a thing at the time. Um, I was gonna use this for something. I don't remember what I was gonna use it for. I saw her boob. It was really, really bad, so I never really messed with it again. I messed up when I was inking it, so I never actually went back and finished it. Which is kind of upsetting because I had plans for it. This is actually a painting I have on my computer. I took the sketch and I scanned it and I put it into my computer. But I never actually got around to like finishing it and whatnot. So yeah. These are just random sketches. This is the acrylic painting I was working on. I was just using it to practice dyes and stuff with acrylic paint. I'm going to do more acrylic paint and stuff but... Not right now, sooner or later. <sighs> this is Cannery for Hunter x Hunter. Um, just some random sketches and stuff. Anything I can't explain, I'm just going right over. Um, This one right here was a genie thought I never actually got around to finishing. And the man running away from the genie. You probably can't see it. But um, this is... I, uh, I called it... What did I call it? Gosh, I don't remember. His name's not... If the name isn't under, that's the palette I use for it. No, not for this one, for a different one. Oh yeah, um, Lucid Dreaming. I don't know, I was thinking about a lady and her dreaming, her dream sequences and stuff like that. This is older, not really newer. My friend Sierra drew this. It's Hanzo and Genji from Overwatch. Um, you know, just joking around and stuff. I don't know. And this one, uh, I don't know. Again, a lot of these are just random doodles, and that's what your sketchbook is for. Now, these are actual pieces I did for other people. This is my friend, Jin Lee. Uh, I did a watercolor, and over, I took Prismacolor pencils, but it was a lot of fun. I tried to do as cartoony as possible, but um, the bun kind of got cut off when I was moving around. I, I scanned it to send to her after I went over again in my computer, but yeah. And um, this one misrepresentation um yeah misrepresentation um I was thinking about Afrocentral things and how people oddly try to like erase us but we're still here and that like our hair is important and our skin and everything but explaining art is a lot harder than it is to actually draw it um my friend Sierra went over it again and my nephew tried to draw a cup in here and uh my friend Sierra drew these they're really, they're really nice. I'm not gonna say I like them a lot. Um, this one, I was kind of feeling really lost one day. Um, I was thinking about my heritage, like my African roots and whatnot, and I couldn't like bring anything to the forefront of thought. So I just drew this in kind of like hindsight of seeing like what is nature and like am I gonna fall apart? Is this is confusion. A lot of deep esque thinking, deep ish thinking, and um. These are color swatches for big pieces I'm doing right now in my bigger sketchbook. Uh, there won't be a tour for that one for a really long time because those are like finished pieces. But this one's for a Pokemon one and this one's for um, more of a freakishy, nightmarish one because a lot of stuff been going on in my life recently. And this one is, um, you can't really see it probably, but yeah, it's wrinkly. But it's Moses bowing down to the burning bush in Exodus in the Bible, in the second book of the Bible, 
it's Exodus, you know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, so on and so forth. And I think it's Numbers after Deuteronomy, but don't quote me on that. Um, he's bowing down to the burning bush because, you know, God, um, he engulfs the bush and not consuming flame, but his flame and tells Moses what he has to do. Um, I was waiting for my friends, so I tried to sketch the parking lot. I started the sketch. We were about, and then as soon as, they, as soon as I started the sketch, we left. So, yeah, there we got finished. Um, I was in the barber shop when I started this one. Um, I still haven't finished it. I'm probably not going to. If I do, it's gonna go on the computer. It's such a cool concept. It was, it was not, it wasn't a nightmare I had, but it was a thought that I kept having, like about surgery and stuff. So I just brought it to paper and whatnot. And yeah, um, my nephew did this one. This is just some really basic. Um, just angling stuff and cartooning ideas and designs and whatnot. But uh, I was in class and she just kept talking, so I drew this. I'm noticing I'm moving away from the. I think I should start doing this more. But yeah, just some really nice stuff, fish stuff that I drew. We're getting there. We're getting towards the end. But yeah, like some more, just practicing faces and different angles and stuff. And mess around like masks and different ideas and whatnot. These are really old because you can tell. Well, the closer to the end of the book we get is getting older. Well, newer, but nonetheless, it's kind of old in my opinion. And yeah, I think the rest of this is just practice. Oh yeah, this one was a picture. We're thinking about really funny characters, and I didn't know how to like think of anything else but this. But I don't know what to call her, or what to name her. Again, if she were to ever get completed, she'd be on the computer because I just, I'm better with those. No, not really. I'm used to doing traditional stuff over like, you know, computer -y stuff. But yeah, that's, that's my sketchbook. I mean, this one anyway. Um, I don't know. Today is the day the Lord is made. I'll rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know. Um... It's just, I don't know. I mean, that's it. Thank you for watching and being all in here. Maybe I'll start actually doing more videos more often and actually get a subscriber count. <laughs> I don't know. I bought a new sketchbook, but that, that tour won't be here for a really long time. So thanks for watching.